Good afternoon, my fellow SAP students. What I'm wanting to speak to you about today is the Software Development Lifecycle, or SDLC. Uh, there are many development life cycles that you can use, but the one life cycle I'm going to use today is a five-step process. Uh, but there are other life cycle methods you can use. You can go onto the internet and you can find them. Uh, the development life cycle depends upon the aims and the goals of the project. And in the waterfall method, testing is a standalone activity and it has to adapt with the development module chosen for that project. In any module, testing should be performed at all levels from requirement gathering to maintenance. In the waterfall method, testing only occurs after implementation is done. The earlier the error is detected, the cheaper it is to repair. So basically, they wait until uh, they've already designed the system. And then when they've already designed the system, then they do the testing. That is one unique feature of the waterfall method in the software development lifecycle. This particular method that I have on the screen has five stages. The first stage is the requirement planning stage, where you gather as much information as possible about the details and the specifics of what is needed from the client. The second stage is the design stage, where you plan programming and database to suit the project. You also have to plan the architecture. The third stage is the build stage, and that's where the software is actually coded or the computer programmers actually write the software. The fourth stage is the build stage, where you have to test the software to verify it is built according to the specifications given by the client. And the fifth stage is uh, the maintenance stage where you make any code changes required to optimize the system. So that is it for the waterfall method in this particular method that I'm discussing with you. Uh, the important thing to keep in mind about the waterfall method is that the testing is done after the software has already been coded um, and built. So that you know might pose a problem and the earlier you find a problem the cheaper it is to repair because if you wait until the very end of the life cycle to find the problem and if the problem was at the very beginning then you would have to go back each step until you got to the very beginning and found it and you know some some problems in the coding can take months or even years to find. So it can be a very expensive process if um, a bug is in the software pro program and they can't find it. So I hope you have a good day and I hope you've gotten something out of this video. Goodbye.